Now to the historic launch along the Space Coast. It was a success for the powerful rocket being used for the first time. But there is a problem with the lunar lander on board. The spacecraft was supposed to land on the moon, but the company behind it, Astrobotic, says the lander has a propulsion problem and is losing propellant, meaning it's rapidly running out of fuel. The company just shared this picture showing the spacecraft's first image in space, which also points to a propulsion problem. NASA paid Astrobotic more than $100 million to explore the surface of the moon before sending astronauts there later on. Now, Astrobotics seems to be acknowledging the end of the mission is near, saying it's now trying to do as much science as possible. We'll let you know as soon as they give us another update. As for the Vulcan rocket itself. Three, we have ignition. and liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. Now this was a huge and much needed win for the private space company that makes some of the engines Blue Origin. It has invested hundreds of millions of dollars on the Space Coast. The company is backed by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. News 6's space expert Eric Von Anken was there in 2015 when Bezos himself announced his plans for Blue Origin in Central Florida. About 2,000 feet that way is going to be the new Launchpad 36. And what is going to lift off from Launchpad 36? Well, I want to give you a little sneak peek. Here it is, the new orbital vehicle. In 2015, Jeff Bezos brought huge news to the Space Coast that he would build and launch his monster rocket, the New Glenn, here, right next to the Kennedy Space Center, and test his BE-4 engine. Four, three, we have ignition. And lift off of That's the, the first same engine, United two of them, that pushed the Vulcan rocket into space early this morning. The launch, as we saw, went flawlessly, and it was perhaps the loudest message since 2015 from Blue Origin, a company with a founder that rarely says anything at all. I interviewed that founder right here back in 2015 when he had a lot to say. What does that mean to you? How does it feel? Well, it feels great. You know, I have, uh, 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 I have some roots here in Florida. I went to high school in Miami. When I first met the billionaire, he said he would use his Amazon fortune to fund Blue Origin to fly the New Glenn from the Space Coast before the end of the decade. Well, that deadline came and went, and New Glenn still isn't ready to fly. Blue Origin is making steady progress, though, posting this picture on Instagram late last year of the heavy lift rocket with the caption, hardware is stacking up in Florida. Bezos just fired his longtime Blue Origin CEO last year, replaced him with an Amazon executive, and admitted in a podcast for the first time publicly, Blue Origin needs to move faster. One of the reasons the Vulcan rocket was delayed for years is because the Blue Origin engines weren't ready. That is now one challenge Blue Origin has overcome. At KSC, Eric Von Eichen getting results, News 6. It's been a lot to get done in the last eight or nine As years they say, there. space is hard. It is. It's tough. <laughs>